Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to the Rogers Kakasungura YouTube channel. And um, I want to thank each and every one of you for your effortless continued support. There are people who are committed at seeing this channel grow. There are people who are committed to see they have supported Kakasungura. There are people who are committed to see that by all means, this channel is moving forward. May God bless you. I know some of you in person, you've texted me, you've come into my inbox, you've supported me. May God bless you abundantly. May the blessings of Almighty God shower your homes and your families. Take your one or two seconds. Click that subscriber button and remember to turn on your notification bell. I will be mixing Swahili and English. Ladies and gentlemen, it's more embarrassing it's more deadly, or rather I can call it suicidal, when you have a wife who doesn't know when to discuss certain affairs with the family and when to discuss other affairs in the presence of visitors. Ladies and gentlemen, a good wife is the one who is able to conceal family secrets. Lakini ukipata bibi wakati wageni wako kwa meza, ndiyo anahanza kuambia buwana, ati na ukumbuke vile ulikuwa na nichapa jana, ati ukumbuke vile ulikuwa na ninyima, sijui ni nini, ni nini, ni nini, ni nini, ni usiku, Allah, hi. That family will not grow. As a husband, you feel embarrassed. You know, ladies and gentlemen, if there is a person who has a task in this country, it's Mama Doricus. Rigabi. Kama kuna mama anakibarua dunia hii, Ni mama Dorika Sirigadi. I want to say this. Ladies and gentlemen. The people around our new deputy president, Rigadi Gashawa, they have either decided to let him finish himself or they have decided kaende, kaende. I want to tell you. The people around the regard, they have just, they have just sat. Wana chungulia tu. No, they have decided. Eh, wame, yaani wame tulia tu, honestly speaking. How do you bring family affairs into the table where even your in-laws are there, honestly speaking? Yaani wewe. Wakati mama yako kama, kama bibi umeolewa, wakati mama yako amekuja kukusalimia, ndiyo unaleta mambo ya kitanda kwa meza. Hey! Kenya, we are finished. I was watching at what was happening in Kasarani, and I was like, hey! Yani paka nijona watu wengine tu wanafunika mawe oki. Wee! Hey! Yani umeamua kutoa Kenya, mguo. You know? Okay. Uru is gone home, regardi. Uru is gone home. Uru is now a village. Not he's gone. He has gone home. Uru is now a village. Uru is a village. You guys should now begin to understand that you are now the deputy president who should carry himself with a lot of decorum. You are the second most powerful individual in this country. You should receive what comes out of your mouth. You should weigh what comes out of your mouth. Our deputy, you should weigh Ten heads of state 
are attending an inauguration. Ten heads of state. Your colleagues, ten heads of state. For the first time, I saw the Eswatini king. Wameka. We have ambassadors from other countries seated. At an inauguration, not for an MCA, not for a member of parliament, not for a governor, but an inauguration of the president regarding that you decide to blow. Hi. Yani leo amechoma nyumba paka mabulangeti akamaliza. Hakuna mahali mnaenda kulala. There's no way to sleep. Yani umetoa Kenya nguo zote, umetoa Ukawacha tu, akitembea uchi. You decided. Hata kama uru aliwakosea, yes. Lakini, ungengoja kwanza wageni waende. Ungoja national event, halafu wanza kutosomewe. Uru is a human being. Yes, alikosa. We agree. But, today was not the day Ya kuzungumza hayo maneno rigadi. Hai, deputy president. Ah. Ha. Today no. Mm -mm. Today no. Nataka tuweke siyasa kando. Hata kama unasupport Kenya Kwanza. Hata kama unasupport Azimio. Leo hii, our new deputy president umetuangusha mdugu. Ah, finished. Kuisha maneno. Ah, kuna kitu. Yani, mahali kuna wageni ndi unasomea watu wati Kenya ikuna, ikuna, ikuna deni ya 10 trillion. Hai. 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 It's really sad. It's a dark day for Kenyans. So the president, yani maraisu wanatoka hapa wanaenda, wakijua kwamba, yani, hai. Hai. Rikadi, hey! Yaani Rikadi aliamua leo Sasa You know Bebele inasema A good wife builds her own house Na yule mbaya anaibamua na mikona yake miwili Kuna manana ya nafaa kuzungumza When we have a national event kama jamuhuri Madaraka And the rest Wakati tuko sisi peke yetu but an inauguration, first day in office. Hey! I'm surprised. You know, I looked at Mama Dorcas. I looked at Bishop Dorcas. The way she felt ashamed. I was like, hi. Kumba hii dunia yikona manema. When I wangaria your video vizuri, especially when he was taking an off, regard Mama, Bishop Dorcas was like, guy mungu. Si kitu ishi yaki niende. What an embarrassment. Na musisame ni metusi mtu. I have not abused anyone. I'm positively criticizing and telling our deputy president. Please. It's high time you censor your speech. It's high time you censor what you speak. Sasa, I want to ask... Wageni wanapokuja Kenya kama deputy president wetu hajaandika speech aspewa nafasi ya kuonge. Please. With all due respect. And this is not an abuse. This is not discrediting someone. This is not humiliation. But let's face facts as they are. Kama kuna event watu wame attend kutoka inje maraisi wengine Kama deputy president wetu hajaandikiwa procedural speech tafadhali asipewa nafasi ya kuongea we lock him up yes it's clear today i thought that today was a meeting to unite kenya i thought today was a platform to speak hope to kenya I thought today was a platform to inject some hope into our economy. Hi! This is war so embarrassing. 
Mimi nilifikiria tungetumia wakati huu wakati marais wengine wako. Kuambia inchi zingine kwamba Kenya tunaweza tukapiga kura bila kupigana. I thought it was a day to tell Kina Paul Kagame who have ruled Rwanda for 20 years. I thought it was a platform to tell him Seveni who has been in power for over 30 years that yes, democracy can work in Africa. That is what I thought. Mimi hayo ndio walikuwa natarajia kutoka kasarani. Tuambie watu wengine kwamba ndio Kenya tunaweza tukapiga kura. Kenya tunaweza tuka, tunaweza kutofautiana kisiasa. Lakini tuta tu, 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 paka nimepotelewa mambo ya kuzungumza. Hai. Hai. My heart is bleeding. Mimi nilifikiria leo ni wakati tungeonyesha wa Kenya. Leo ni wakati the president elect. In fact, Ruto becomes the first president mwenye amekuwa handed over peacefully. Ada gama mu ya liveana power. Lakini hii nayo, it's done peaceful. Tumepiga kura. Tumekuwa na joto ya kisiasa. Tumekuwa na joto ya kikampeni. Lakini kura zimepua kwa amani. Hakuna mtu amepigana. Kenyan samachua, we are all in peace and everything goes on. Hai. Ni wakati tungeonyesha mseveni kwa mandu yangu. Afrika bado tunaweza tukapiga kura kwa mani. Ni wakati tuonyeshe mataifa mengine kwa mba Kenya has come of age as compared to other African countries. Lakini munaenda kuleta mambo ya bedroom. Munaleta uchafu, muna mwaka kwa podium. Hai. I want to petition, mama. You know Bishop, Bishop Brigadi, Bishop Dorcas. I listened to her when she came to Kisi. I happened to attend when I was streaming the event. And, um, she is a woman full of wisdom. You have a task to mold your husband. You have a task to sharpen him. Do not shy off. Please. Just make regard for us. I'm also a Kenyan. As much as we disagreed in politics. Tafadali. Tengeneza rigadi la shawa. Muketishe chini, muweke class. Muketishe, mufundishe kwamba my husband. Sasa wewe siwa member of parliament tena. Sasa wewe si mwana inchi tena. Wewe ni deputy president, the second most powerful in the Republic of Kenya. Tafadari, can you censor what you speak? Write a speech for him. Anapokuja. Just give him a brief speech. Deputy President siwa watu wakuzungumza 10 hours. Deputy President siwa watu wakuzungumza 2 hours. Ni watu wakuzungumza 2 minutes. Wanapea President ya naongea. Hey! Jesus Christ. Tuombe ni Kenya. Let's pray for Kenya. A careless mouth can burn forests. A loose mouth. Huu ni wakati kwamba tungetumia hii platform kwambia wa Kenya wenze tu. Hata kama tuli disagree kisiasa. Ni wakati tukuje pamoja tungane. Lakini mulaleta nyimbo za kutusi raisi ya naye toka. Hata kama li wakosea. Mbele ya maraisi wengine. Dunia hii, malipo ni hapa hapa tu. Na wa Kenya. Mm. Angalieni maisha ya rigadhi na wa President Ruto. Hivi. Wakimalizia hivi pamoja. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen. It's high time we protect our country. It doesn't matter how much we disagreed 
and politics. It's high time we shake off the, the dust and move on. But as of me, from this platform, let me tell it, I will keep you on check. I will remind you and I will be a small opposition. Hata kama channel yangu ni kidogo. I will be that small opposition. The 10,000 people who watch me, the 20,000 people who watch me, we are able to start a movement to keep you on check. And we hope you shall respect our opinions. May God bless you. Asante ni sana wa Kenya na wapenda sana. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen.